Let me ask you guys a question. If there was one character from the SpongeBob SquarePants show who could get their own spin-off show on Nickelodeon, who would it be? Squidward, Patrick, Sandy, or Mr. Krabs? Who do you think? If you guess Patrick Starr, then you are 100% correct. That's right. Patrick Starr is getting his own show on the Nickelodeon network, man. That's pretty cool. A complete departure from the Bikini Bottom antics. Uh, they're saying that Patrick Starr's show is going to be more like a talk show. So he's going to have guests come on. He's going to interview them in a late night talk show kind of way. But I'm assuming it's still going to be for kids, right? They also said that uh, we're going to get a chance to see Patrick's family. So we could meet his mom, his dad, his sister, I believe. That's all they had in the article. I'm excited. It's crazy, man. It's the The cultural impact of spongebob is just it's too much i don't know if it was the memes i don't know if it was the song you know that that song that they performed at the uh in the middle of the football game like that is crazy that really happened and people love spongebob man i remember day something i never really understood about um sandy cheeks she's a squirrel who moved from texas to live under the sea and she's in a astronaut's uniform not in a scuba suit or anything like that she's in an astronaut's uniform a space suit i still don't understand it but it worked you know and we don't understand how mr krabs's daughter pearl is a whale plankton is a very evil villain he really is and then what was the other character the one, the guy who was like the, the head of his own little club and he was like a uh, sea pickle or a zucchini. What's the character? Y'all know who I'm talking about. What's his name? That episode is hilarious. What about the hash slinging, the sash bringing, the classy to see? Because certain characters, certain stories, people are just bought in, man. They want to see it all over again, maybe told in a different way, maybe told the exact same way, just with a different style. I don't know. We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles getting ready to come back out. Uh, CGI animated film that's being headed by Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is making a Ninja Turtles movie. I can only assume that Michelangelo is going to be his favorite uh, turtle of the bunch. We'll see. I'm excited to for that one to get rolled out as well. But yeah, man. Shout out to Patrick Starr. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. I Wumbo. He Wumbo. Oh. He has to interview, um, he got to interview the, 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 the superheroes. Please, to the writers of this show, please let Patrick Starr interview Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I gotta hear Mermaid Man say it. Eee!